calendar, I'm making a hibiscus poached pear with a key lime flan and a pepita brittle. The key lime custard is very finicky. It's absolutely imperative that it has enough time to cool and set. Otherwise, I could potentially not have it on the plate. Had amazing apps, yep. amazing Brilliant. entrees. Are they going to be able to stick with that and do this here? This is about them going out on a high. Mm -hmm. I mean, a big high. Yes, sir. Looks like you're making a dry caramel in this pot. Yes, I'm going to be making that dry caramel for the brittle, so I've got to get that going. And the pears are poaching right now, slowly. So I'm just making sure to watch my time, because obviously these need to be cooked, and that's a risk I decided to take. But you know, it's a risk that I think is definitely worthwhile. All right, good, good luck. luck. Thank you, Chef. Nice. Oh, oh, I knew it. Watch out, what? Water splashed inside when I moved the tray. This is like worst case scenario ever. The water went into the mousse, which is now going to set. I need to throw these out and start all over again. And losing this time is critical. Claudia is really exactly. up against it. She could lose it here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You got it, Claudia. Last five minutes. Go back. OK. Claudia's flan are out. Watch your water, watch your water. I know, I've got to take them out really carefully. She's got to get them set now yeah. in the fridge. Yes, go, refrigerator, come on, come on. Gorgeous, Claudia, we love it. 60 seconds to go. Hey. Last minute. Yep. Yeah, good. Come on, come on, Inga, come on. Let's go. Claudia's hibiscus post pear is a beautiful masterpiece, oh. but no matter who walks away with the trophy, they're both master chefs to me. Claudia is signing the plates with her initials made out of the sauce. For them. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go! I hope you're proud. Yes, we are. We are. Please, both of you, present your stunning desserts. Absolutely stunning. Derek, taking a look at Claudia's, how do you feel? It looks amazing. Real honor cooking next to it. Okay, Claudia, let's see if your dessert can match Derek's. Claudia, please describe your last course for the evening. I've brought you a hibiscus poached pear with a key lime custard and a pepita cinnamon brittle. This is a really eye-opening dessert, and it is 100% all about the pear. They're tender. The sauce, the glaze around them is explosive and tart. Obviously, you were having trouble with the key lime flan, right. but the texture, I mean, it is beautiful. The pumpkin seed or pepita cinnamon brittle with that little pinch of salt is, like, you need to sell it by the bag full at Claudia's <laughs> Cocina. Incredibly successful. Thank you, Chef. Love the hibiscus fragrance. That's nice. It's sort of perfumed. Delicious. Flan could be more oozing of lime. Mm -hmm. I need the citrus punch. I need the wake up. But, you know, I love it. It's an amazing finish. Well done. Thank you. America's next great master chef is. Congratulations. can 100 million percent make something happen for yourself if you just dig really freaking deep and become the best version of you possible. Oh my god, honey, I'm sweating. 
<laughs> this is <laughs> this is gonna change our lives. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I, you're brilliant, okay? Derek is incredible. I have so much respect for him. He has been a front runner from the beginning of the competition. He pushed me to be the chef that I am today. I love you. Congratulations. <laughs> Claudia put up one hell of a fight. It was epic and it was a great battle and, you know, making it this far, I know I'd, I made my mom proud. And the winner is Claudia! I am the first Latina master chef. Soy la maestra chef. <laughs> Hello!